Remains of Marines, Sailor Recovered from Amphibious Vehicle Incident To view the full article, click the first link in the description below, their remains will soon be transferred to Dover Air Force Base in Delaware to be prepared for burial, according to the U.S. Marine Corps. They will then be released to their families in accordance with their wishes. Our hearts and thoughts of the 15th Marine Expeditionary Unit are with the families of our recovered Marines and Sailor, Colonel Christopher Bronzy, Commanding Officer of the 15th Marine Expeditionary Unit, said in a statement. We hope the successful recovery of our fallen warriors brings some measure of comfort. Sixteen personnel were on board the AV when the crew reported taking on water during a shore-to-ship waterborne operations training. Five crew members were rescued from the sinking AV and returned to their ship, the USS Somerset. Two Marines were hospitalized. Lance Corporal Guillermo S. Perez, 19, of New Broadfells, Texas, was pronounced dead at the scene. His remains were transferred on Wednesday to Dover Air Force Base. After an extensive two-day search, the 15th Mayu concluded its search and rescue effort for the eight missing service members. The sunken AV was located the cause of the incident is still under investigation and similar training has been suspended while officials learn more about the incident. The eight other deceased service members were identified on Monday as, PFC Brian J. Baltira, 18, of Corona, California, a rifleman Lance Corporal Marco A. Baronco, 21, of Montebello, California, a rifleman PFC Evan A. Bath, 19, of Oak Creek, Wisconsin, a rifleman U.S. Navy Hospitalman Christopher Niem, 22, of Stockton, California PFC Jack Ryan Ostrovsky, 20, of Ben, Oregon, a rifleman Corporal Wesley A. Rod, 22, of Harris, Texas, a rifleman Lance Corporal Chasty. Sweetwood, 18, of Portland, Oregon, a rifleman Corporal Caesar A. Villanueva, 21, of Riverside, California, a rifleman correction, this story has been corrected to update the ages of the deceased service members. Their remains will soon be transferred to Dover Air Force Base in Delaware to be prepared for burial, according to the U.S. Marine Corps they will then be released to their families in accordance with their wishes to view the full article, click the first link in the description below.